Let's solve problem 7.10 for Microelectronics Circuit 8th edition by Cedric Smith. So we have a BJT amplifier like the one in this figure, and it's operated with VCC equals 3 volts, and it's biased at VCE equals 0.5 volts. First thing we want to find is the voltage gain. That's equal to, for a BJT amplifier like this, a good equation would be negative VCC minus VCE divided by VT. So that's equal to negative 3 volts minus 0 0.5 volts divided by the thermal voltage, which is 0 0.025 volts. So it's basically 2.5 divided by 0 0.025. So it's negative 100 volt per volt. Okay. Next thing, find the maximum allowed negative swing without the transistor entering saturation. So for BJTs like this, um, the transistor will enter saturation when VCE is less than or equal to 0 0.3 volts. So this is when we're hitting saturation. And I want to highlight this is the lowercase VCE, not the uppercase one up here. So that means the maximum allowable output voltage swing would be capital VCE minus this lowercase VCE, the maximum it can be, which is 0 0.3 volts. So that would be 0 0.5 volts minus 0 0.3 volts, which is equal to 0 0.2 volts. So this would be the maximum allowed output negative swing. I mean, I usually denote swings by like this little hat. So I do 0 0.2 volts there. Okay, next up, uh, find the corresponding maximum input signal permitted. So basically if we have an input signal, which is gonna be VBE. So we have our swing at VBE. And if we multiply that by the absolute value of our gain, that's going to get us the output swing, which is 0 0.2. So basically, we're just doing VBE is equal to output swing divided by gain, which is equal to 0 0.2 volts divided by 100 volt per volt. So when you calculate that, we get 0 0.02 volts. So that is the maximum input signal we can have, 0 0.02 volts. And that solves the problem.